I am going to try to show you some things that you can do with your calculator and conic sections. Um, so uh, if you don't have one of the newer OS, maybe the newest, you won't actually have this option. But if you don't, uh, you can just upgrade, which I highly recommend. So I'm going to graph page, and I press menu, and I go to graph, and then I have all these options, function equation, parametric polar, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what I'm interested in is equation. Um, and then I can choose what I want. So uh, what I'm going to do is, I don't know, I'll do ellipse for now. Uh, and you can see that it gives you uh, the standard form for an ellipse. And let me just hit enter here. And now I'm just going to fill it in, you know. So uh, it's kind of nice. If you want a negative, you got to do that. Um, and whatever. Press enter. Gives me that, which is pretty good. Um, now from there, if I press menu and I go to analyze graph, so six, and analyze conics here is an option. So uh, I, can, I mean, I can pick any of them. So center, you just select the conic that you want and it tells you that. Um, go back to it, six, eight, vertices, select the conic again, gives you those, pretty nice. Um, what's kind of neat is, um, if you do foci, um, it gives you the exact values, which is uh, fairly mind blowing. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if a non cast would do that, but the cast does, and you should all have those. So that's good for us. Um, let me put in another graphing page here and do it again. So I want equation. And then if I just go to uh, conic in general, I can do this. And now you type in what you know. So say two, uh, this x, y term will be zero for us for the most part. Four, and then let me go eight, um, make it four, so maybe a 16. And then uh, this box here is the constant. So let me go with uh, minus uh, 542, I don't know. Press enter and uh, let's see what I've got. Looks like I have an ellipse. And uh, so, I mean, that's that's basically what you got. Um, I'll go here to coordinates. And I mean, it's already giving me that, but uh, no, it won't give it to me. That's interesting. Probably because they're already there, actually. Um, but anyway, you can analyze this again. Um, let me do one more here. Four, what? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I hit dock. I hit that more than menu. It would appear. Um. Oh, actually, I wanted to do that. Dock four four, and I'm gonna do one more. So, uh, let me put in a hyperbola, I guess, and I can pick which way it's gonna go, uh, which is pretty neat is why uh, you won't be using your calculator on many quizzes involving conics anymore. Um, um, let me go with two. So I have that. You can see it's kind of showing you the center uh, with this little plus sign here. And I can, of course, analyze this again. Six, eight, press these things often enough. Find out, it can give you your eccentricity useful. That's C over A, if you uh, remember. And uh, all kinds of things. So I just wanted you to be aware that this exists. And, uh, you know, you're welcome to use it. You should to explore and see what happens. Um, because uh, all these things are things you're going to need to be able to do. Get your asymptotes. It's crazy. It gives you both at the same time. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so investigate it. Enjoy. I hope you uh, find it helpful. Good luck.